national portal. I think there are 13 states that are currently participating, and Colorado's one of them. And uh, we have basically rolled in a lot, you know, all of our information that we've had. But then the producers can also go online and add their information. If they're not currently listed, they can update information. So it's, it's a lot more interactive and it's a lot more user friendly for not only the, the end user, but for the producer as well. So we might have a farm that uh, is, you know, in the, in the summer they have sweet corn available and that they post that information that, hey, sweet corn is available now. And then when the time comes that they've sold out, they can take that off and add something else that's coming in season. So it's, um, you know, the, the information that the end customer is getting is, is definitely more updated than our, our old version. So basically we're hoping to develop that farm to plate, um, you know, connection and connecting not only the consumers, but the restaurants, the schools, anybody who's using Colorado, looking for Colorado products and making those call out the sales, which is important for our industry. Um, so we have this online searchable directory of, of the Colorado products. There's a mapping tool, so we can map all of the listings. So if there's a farmer's market that's listed, they'll provide a map so you can find it. Uh, that's also helpful for our agritourism operators for locating them. And it also has some demographic information as well. I haven't gone on to play with it a whole lot, but uh, you can identify uh, different demographic information by area and state. And I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. But, but, we've, but we, before we go to the online version of uh, Market Maker, I just wanted to talk about a little, uh, few things about what, how agriculture in Colorado is expanding or, and how growers and processors are diversifying their operations to, to make it work for them and to, to be sustainable. So as was mentioned earlier, community-supported agriculture, that's really a growing um, sector of the industry. And there are more and more of them in Colorado. And the idea of buying a share and receiving different products every week or um, every couple of weeks is really growing. Again, the farm to school. We're working with Denver Public Schools as well as several other school districts to build the bridge between local agriculture and, um, and the schools. And they're very supportive of using local products in their menus. So it's just, an, again, how do we get the products to them that, that we're working on. And I also host a Colorado Proud School Meal Day every September. I think this year it's September 8th. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's a day that we encourage schools to use local products on their menus. And we have chefs come in and do chef demos. We show the video, those kinds of things. Farm dinners. Has anybody been to a farm dinner or seen those advertised? A couple of you? They're really gaining in popularity. People love the idea of having these long tables set up in the middle of the field and with, you know, linens and uh, glassware and then chefs use the products that were grown right in that field to prepare this gourmet dinner. And I tell you what, dinners for $250 a person are selling out because people are really eager to get that connection back to, to local agriculture. Farmers markets, again, the increase in the number of farmers markets in the state and across the country is, is really growing. And so it just shows us that consumers really are looking for ways to buy local products. Value added agriculture, a lot of our, our, our growers, especially the fruit producers on the Western Slope, are looking for ways to utilize the fruit that they have that maybe isn't um, perfect for the retailer or for a farmer's market to sell to the consumer. It you know, might be a, a grade or two below, but they can utilize that for something. So they're using their products for jams and jellies and, and expanding their, their markets into the uh, value-added process companies. Agritourism, that's something that I'm working closely with the Colorado Tourism Office and how we can promote the farms and ranches that want to invite the public to experience what they do. And that might be a U-pick or a roadside stand. Um, but what amazes me the most, I think, are these uh, working ranches that um, invite the public to actually do work. Because I don't know about you, but I hate fixing fence. And if that's a chore that has to be done for the day, there are people out there that are willing to pay money to come and fix the fence. And that's great for the person that wants the experience and it's great for the rancher that doesn't want to necessarily do that, that job. Um, so again, it just demonstrates the you know, consumers really desire to get away from the urban corridor and experience nature and get out in the you know, open air and do some actual physical manual labor. Natural and organic. We've mentioned the growth in those, those niche segments as well. And renewable energy, our office works a lot with the wind 
and solar energy and um, helping agricultural producers uh, utilize those as well. And these, you might want to jot, just jot these down. Um, these are the uh, whoops, websites. ColoradoAgriculture.com has uh, a lot of our information. We have recipes there and, and uh, the crop calendar. I have a, you know, it's on my display out there, but there's a downloadable crop calendar that you can use. Uh, the COMarketMaker.com, that's where we're going. Now, how am I doing on time, Chris? I can do mine. Okay. And uh, ColoradoProud.org. And again, we have all the farmers markets listed there. We have a lot of publications, uh, fact tips, um, those kinds of things. So now we are going to go to Market Maker. And I'm going to show you how we do it. <clears throat> so when you first go to COMarketMaker.com, this is what you'll see. And actually, it'll probably look a little different in the next few months. They're upgrading it to the next the next version of it. And the first thing I think I'll do is just show you down here, if you click on this map, it takes you to the national portal. So these are all the states that participate, that are currently participating in the program. So even if you want to, you know, maybe you're interested in finding a product in, in Nebraska or if you're looking for a market for a Colorado product in another state, this can be a helpful tool for that as well. So there are a lot of other states that are participating. You might want to play around with that. But back to Colorado. So if we click on this little button that says begin your search, <clears throat> then we can go to this drop down menu. And let's say we're looking for um, a producer. And I, today, am going to be looking for peaches. So I click on fruits and nuts, and then I click on peaches. But what makes this nice in you know, our old system, that's all pretty much you could do. But now, <clears throat> today, I really want certified organic peaches that are sold at a farmer's market. And I'm not picky about the location, so I'm just going to look everywhere I've So, find a business. Here we have a list of farmers that meet those specific criteria. And as you'll see on the left-hand side, wow, oh, they're members of Colorado Proud, too. So anybody that has a logo, see how I fit that in? Like, we're going to use this system. My logo better be on there. Um, so then you can... Um, look at the, you can email them, but this, this little magnifying glass, and again, this is going to change because nobody understood what the magnifying glass meant, so it'll say detail or something, or you'll be able to click on the company name and the new system. But all their information comes up, so anything that they wanted to share with you, they have included in their listing. So, um, where they can be found, hey, we're at the, you know, the Telluride Farmers Markets, and then they tell their story, which is great, it was an option that they didn't have before. You know, we're a family-operated farm located in the beautiful North Fork Valley of Colorado. I mean, this is information that the consumer really wants to, wants to know, and it's a selling feature. So whatever information that they're populating, that's what we can draw in through those, um, through those uh, drop-down menus. And then we have the contact information. You can click on the link to email them, all the products sold, any certifications that they might have so they put in if they're locally grown, certified organic those kinds of things. Um, they might have more than fresh products. It might be frozen or vacuum packaged or whatever they can list at. And then again, where they're sold. And also it tells you where, what markets they're served. So it really helps our buyers, whether it's at the retail level. So if there's a retailer that's looking for Colorado products, they can see, okay, this, this grower is interested in selling, you know, in my market. Um, it, it helps us with our exporters identifying who's willing to send their products to other countries. Again, it shows them, it shows if they're Colorado proud. And it also gives a little map about, you know, where they're located. So these, this method of drill down really helps the end user find exactly what they need. So I'm going to do one more search. And I didn't test this one, so I hope it works. But you can also 